Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Today is our last class together. So let's take the last attendance of this module, please. Respond when you hear your name. Turn on your camera, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. David Alonso Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Glendy Elisette Flores. Present. Okay. Sabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Okay. Natalie Rebecca Peña. Present teacher. Nubia Cristina Morales. Odir Omar Soriano. Present teacher. Okay. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. René Giovanni Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth Marielo Samaya. Present. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. Okay. And Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Present. 
things that was important that I need to step. Sí, quick review, Francisco Alexander. Jacqueline, Re present teacher. Here now, okay. Jacqueline, Rebecca. Rebecca, Jonel. Let's see what we're going to do tonight. Okay. No regret. We're going to start with this. No regret. You know what is the meaning of regret? Regret is when you feel sorry about not doing or about doing something. Okay, so that is a regret. When you say no regrets is because you don't feel bad because of something you did or didn't do. Okay, in this activity it says, think about things that have happened in your life over the past few years. Think about things that have happened in your life over the past few years. I don't know. You graduated or you got married or you lost a job or you uh, didn't finish a career. I don't know things that happen uh, and for and for example what opportunities did you miss and write down five things you should or shouldn't have done okay five things you should have done or shouldn't have done for example, I should have married my first girlfriend says here. Okay. Or I shouldn't have studied. Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't have studied uh, engineering. No. Or another one, I should have uh, moved to another city. For example, I should have moved to another city. Or I shouldn't. How uh, bought that old car? Okay, things like those. Okay, so I will give you five minutes to write five things you should or shouldn't have done. Okay, write them down in your notebook or in. 
And later you are going to talk about that with your classmates and with the class, with the whole class. Okay, so take your time and write that. Place this WhatsApp.
Okay, people, I like to hear some of your regrets. Okay. Who wants to start? Voluntarily? Any volunteer to tell us about? Okay, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Um, I regret from I should have learned English many years ago. Ah, okay, yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> okay, Francisco, pass the ball to another classmate. Okay, uh, Nubia Cristina. Okay, Nubia. Tell us about something you regret. Uh, I should I should have learned me to dance. You should have learned to dance. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Pass the ball, Nubia. Um, Saul Lozano. Okay. Tocayo. I shouldn't have drove the truck. You shouldn't have? Drove the truck. Drove. What is the past participle of drive? I think it's drove. No, I'm oh, wrong. That, that is Drive. the simple past. Driven. Driven, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I shouldn't have driven the truck. Oh. Why? What happened? Did you have an accident? Yeah, I, I, I have an accident in a truck. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, continue, Saul. Pass the ball. How's the ball, Saul? Oh, Rebecca Jonel. Rebecca Jonel, are you here? No, oh, she's not available. Another one. Raul. Okay, Raul. I should then have all tools. I shouldn't have all tools. All tools. But shouldn't have and you need a verb. I shouldn't have you there is a verb missing, Raul. I understand this. I shouldn't have all tools. Is that what you said, Raul? Yes. Okay, but there in the middle, you need a verb. I shouldn't have bought all tools. I shouldn't have lost my old tools. I shouldn't have have all tools. Uh, what, what do you want to say? Both. Sorry? Both. Bad. Bad is not a verb. Okay. Well, okay. Think about that, Raul. Uh, David, read what you what you write. Read it, David. Read what you put in the chat, David. 
David. Oh, we lost him. We lost David. Okay. Um, choose another one, Saul, because. Or uh, maybe Marco. Okay. Okay, Marco. Okay. I should have invest more time in learn in learning how to play guitar or any other instrument. Okay, I should have uh, invested. In, invested. Yes, that's right. Okay, good. Pass the ball, Marco. Okay, I choose uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Um, I should. I should have a study more in the university. Ah, okay, okay. Pass the ball, the... Evelyn. Okay, you want to say? Another one? Mm. Isaura. Isaura. Hi. You have finished the study on time. Okay. Continue, Isaura. Pass the ball. Silvia, 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 Silvia. Okay, Silvia. What about you, Silvia? Hi, Cole. Uh huh. We can't hear you, Silvia. Is my microphone. Okay, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Ah, oh, where is the question? Sorry. What is something you regret? Something I regret. I <laughs> I think is I regret not not studying English before when I was young. So you Okay. Yeah, because nowadays I I will I will have a a good job. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, people, very good, very good. Um Okay, we have a, a, a reading here. Let me, let me go here to this article. Okay, we have this article or this reading. It is called Ask Alice. Ask Alice. It says, do you read advice columns in newspapers and magazines? 
Do you think they are helpful to everyone who reads them? Dear Alice, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend, girlfriend was dating another guy. Uh, I felt I should let my brother I felt I should let my brother know and after I did he confronted her with the story. Although she denied it, it caused a terrible argument and they almost broke up. Now it turns out that the rumor wasn't true and my brother has speaking to me. Wow. Then the other letter. Distraught sister. Dear Alice, I was at a friend's house for dinner recently. During dinner, I accidentally broke a beautiful vase. It was my friend's favorite wedding present. I offered to pay for it, but she refused. Should I have insisted? I still feel bad about it. About it. Feeling guilty. Dear Alice, the third one. Dear Alice, my son is 23 years old. He finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job that he likes. He still lives at home, and I'm worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and be on his own. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meals and doing his laundry. Tired mom. Okay, we have three letters, and we have four responses. Hmm. Let me read the response. You're making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be firm and tell him he has two months to find a job, any job, and get his own place. He's old enough to take care of himself, but you have to be willing to let him go. Alice. Dear, you should have thought more carefully before you acted. It wasn't necessary to get angry. Next time, speak to the child immediately and warn him or her not to do it again. Dear, well, you learned a lesson. You shouldn't have listened to gossip and you shouldn't have passed it on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize sincerely and hope that he will forgive and forget. Dear, I think you did the right thing. It was important to offer to pay for it. But it's not surprising that she refused. Perhaps you could give her a special gift to make up for it. Okay, now, the activity says, read the letters to the Ask Alice advice column. Then Alice replies. You have to match the letters with the replies. Okay? That is the first thing you have to do. Take your time, read the letters again, and match the letters with the replies. Notice that we have four letters, I mean three letters, and four replies. So one reply is extra, okay? Won't be, won't be used, one reply. Hey, I will give you five minutes to do that. You can do it right in the, the name of the sender here. Or match them with a line, whatever you want. 
Can I work on that, please? Let me see if I can send the letters to WhatsApp to help you with it.
<laughs> okay, let's take a look to your answers or to your yeah, to your work. Okay, who's this? Who's this answer address to? Is the it? Uh -huh. the, the answer is for the the uh, the. the the maps in the problem with the son he he is know how wanna uh you know you know find the job so this one exactly see tired my tired mom tired mom okay let me write yeah, my it son is 22 years old dear tired mom Okay, this is for tired mom. Okay. What about this one? Feeling guilty. Is this for feeling guilty? Yes. Okay, I will write it. What about this one? This is for the distraught, distraught yes. sister. Distraught sister. And this one is the I think she's feeling guilty because she's uh uh, uh talking about the pay for the pay for the uh for the base. The base, exactly. Ah yeah, actually you're right. This is for feeling guilty. So this is the extra one. Okay, very good, very good. Now, okay, now I want you to write a letter to Alice. Make up any problem, any situation. Could be imaginary, could be something that you uh, experienced something that happened to you or not so uh, but take i will give you a few minutes to write a short letter asking for advice okay to ali 
I remember hearing El Salvador on the on the newspapers, particularly I think it was on La Prensa Gráfica. There was a a column called Cartas a Maria. I don't know how many of you remember that. But it was something like this. People wrote letter okay, to Maria and she responded with some advice. Okay, so I want you to write a letter to Alice. Take five minutes to write a short letter to Alice. And I want you to write it in the chat, whether on Zoom or WhatsApp, your short letter. ¿Cómo se escribe neighborhood en, en inglés? ¿Cómo se escribe neighborhood en, en inglés? Neighborhood significa best in Dario en inglés. Ok. 
¿cómo se dice? Angry en inglés. Saúl, el micrófono está open. Enojado. I'm waiting for your for your letters. Oh, I send it my, but I don't yeah. know if it's good. Yeah, I see that one. Oh. Uh, only that you said my neighborhood. Neighborhood is the place. So I I gotta say my neighbor. Neighbor, yeah, is the person. Oh, oh thank you, teacher. That's. What's a short letter, people? Not a <laughs> a big one, a big problem. Okay, there is another one. Saura says, Dear Alice, I would like you to give me some advice. My friend said things he shouldn't have said. And today people are upset with her for having said that. And now she doesn't know how to solve things. Thanks for reading. Okay. Now, Francisco, dear Alice.
Okay. Oh, big, big problem. The flip flop. <laughs> Okay. Okay, people, uh, we won't have time to to write a response. It will have been nice. But if you want, you can take a look and, and write a response if you want, okay? Before we finish, I would like to take a screenshot of the group uh, picture just for our memories. So if you can turn on your camera, that would be great. Take a screenshot of of the class. You turn on your cameras for a moment. People, I know it's late. Just a screenshot to have a memory in the group. Okay, on my count, I want to ask you to choose a, a heart for reaction like this. When I when I tell you, because it, it goes quickly. Okay, when I tell you, choose the heart reaction, and I will take the picture. Wait, wait, Nubia, wait, because it it, it doesn't last too much. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, now uh, one, two, three. Put the heart. Okay, put the heart reaction. I'm going to take this screenshot now. Okay. Let's see. I will send it to the group. You may have this memory of this class. There you are. There you have it in WhatsApp. Okay, it was good. It was good. Okay, people, it's been a pleasure for me to be with you this module. I encourage you to continue with the, the next modules to complete the advanced modules and everything okay don't quit don't quit okay keep going all right it's been a pleasure for me and have a good night people thank you Take teacher care. thanks for everything teacher good night thank you thank you very much Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.